Hello friends, if you've been wondering what we've been up to over the last week, we thought we'd show you a few things. So we left Ely and headed toward Bemidji and lo and behold, on the way is Hibbing, Minnesota, childhood home of Bob Dylan. So what did we do? We acted like the fans we are and stopped and... We had to go by. Yeah, got a selfie in front of the house. Okay, when we were at Cass Lake in Minnesota, what did we do? We rode our bicycle on the McGeezie Trail, which was really cool. Um, we rode the trail, like 18 miles, and then we also rode into Cass Lake and went to the library and the post office. Really nice trail. It was fun. It was fun. We rode the McGeezie Trail. Uh, from our campground to the town of Cass Lake today. It's about five miles one way. Magizi is the Ojibwe word for eagle. Pretty nice bike trail. I paved the whole way, no complaints. Come on, catch up with me. I'm coming. All right. Here we are. Riding on the Magizi Trail. It's been awesome. Really nice trail. Mostly uh, shaded. Right along the, between the Cass Lake and Big Pike Bay. Right where the railroad track goes. Beautiful trail. Paved. Saw a few joggers and some other cyclists, but not too many. All right. So Susan, tell me where the headwaters of the Mississippi River are. Okay, the headwaters are located in Itasca State Park at Lake Itasca. Um, and it's really cool, it's a huge lake, um, like you can do a boat tour and some other things, but we went to the headwaters, which are at the lake, and there's um, like some rocks, and here's this little big stream coming out and that's the start of the Mississippi River and you could cross the rocks and there were kids playing in it. Really, really, really nicely done, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the wet rock is actually uh, yeah. not as slick. Okay, we're at the headwaters of the Mississippi, Mississippi River at Lake Itasca, uh, which is pretty cool. There's more water flowing here than I have seen in past videos of it uh, in the Mississippi head, no, Lake Itasca State Park. And we just walked across the river yes. on the rocks. Yeah. There's, it's Saturday, so it's pretty busy, but we had fun. Yeah. And if you know us, you know we love all things kitsy and uh, touristy. And we had to go by and see the giant statue of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox in Bemidji and eat some ice cream. Yes, and we sat on the sidewalk and watched Bemidji roll by. Yes, and they rolled by really fast. <laughs>
This is the Missouri River from our campsite. We're a quarter mile away from our camper. Beautiful spot. And presently, we are camping at the Hazleton Recreation Area, which sits high on a bluff right over the Missouri River. And uh, uh, south of Bismarck, about 30 miles south of Bismarck, North Dakota. And looking on the map, we saw that um, Sitting Bull had a memorial, had two memorials actually, uh, in the vicinity over at Standing Rock Sioux Reservation. Uh, so we did that one day. That is south of us in South Dakota. Oh yeah. And uh, we, had to, we drove south from here <laughs> and then cross the uh, Missouri River uh, into uh, Standing Rock Reservation. And then we took, uh, took the road back, did a big day long loop out of it. Beautiful country, we really enjoyed it. And Standing Rock is in both South and North Dakota. It's the sixth largest reservation in the States. Yes. <laughs> This is the Sacagawea, Sacagawea Monument on the Missouri River, the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation. This is the second burial place of Sitting Bull's remains. He was killed in 1890 right up the river from uh, here at Fort Yates, and he was buried there. In 1953, some of his descendants uh, went up there and dug up his bones and brought them down here to the Standing Rock Sioux land and buried him here beside the river. Uh, it's a beautiful quiet, tranquil spot with him looking over his remains, looking over the river.
This is the first resting place of Sitting Bull after his murder in 1890. It's not windy here. No. It's not windy.